Hey troops, welcome back to the channel. My name is Ryan. I'm a former Royal Marines commando from the United Kingdom and today we're going to be reacting to our brothers from across the pond, the US Marines in Recruit Depot San Diego. Now we've seen them transition from civilian to military, the shock of capture. We've seen them progress straight into aggressive style military training. First things first was bayonet training, a very, very important part of any form of uh, infantry training. And um, it sorts out the men from the boys. It sorts out your own mind to let you know whether or not you, it's a job you actually want to do or not. And um, I think on this video, we're going to go through a little bit more of the infantry skills. And um, yeah, let's see what our brothers get up to and have they got what it takes to get through the rest of training. If you like these videos, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel and drop a comment below, guys. Enjoy. Same move, you understand? Yes, sir. Yes. Oh, sir. You understand that? Yes, sir. Who is confused? Same shit, yeah. Have a. Yes, sir. You think he's looking forward? No, sir. He's trying, you understand that? Yes, sir. But most of it, he's not, you understand? Yes, sir. So everybody else, meaning the other two, will do what? Right. Yes, sir. security being his two eyes to the front, you understand that? Yes, sir. So who asked the question? What? Underneath, oh, meaning back cross underneath bar wire, do you know Sammy? Do you understand? Yes, sir. Okay, so that aggressive nature that we all know US Marines to have, it's the it's the famous part of them, isn't it? They're known for being aggressive soldiers. That just doesn't happen overnight. Don't think that just because you're you know you're training men and young women to um to go into the military that you have to be that way inclined before you join because it's just not the case. As you can tell there, their war cries will get a lot a lot more manlier um in in the future, okay, with more of this type of training. But they do train them from the start, it seems, to be very, very aggressive. Man! And this has got a lot more to do with um, conditioning of the brain and the mentality than anything else. It's um, an experience for the recruits. They can understand to a very, very small degree, you know, what it's going to feel like on the battleground. But mainly, it's for the instructors to condition their brains to be able to listen and um, take orders in. It's as simple as that. Everything that the military does has a deeper purpose, and the deeper purpose for this task, to me, seems like you know they they want to they want to start integrating um, the physicality um, of of an infantry soldier slowly they want to integrate the aggression into their personality but they also want to condition the brain to be that way um uh, constantly and to be able to switch it on when needed so there's a lot more going into this than what meets the eye we might just be looking at young lads shouting you know um and screaming ah when they're on on an assault course but it doesn't doesn't necessarily translate into the full meaning of what training they're actually going through with the rifle yes, ah! oh, Nice, sir. 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 N
That's tough. This kind of thing is tough, guys. San Diego, blistering heat, kit on. This will be the first time they've actually worked out probably some of these young lads in that type of kit. Helmet, a rifle, it doesn't seem like a lot of kit. It isn't a lot of kit in the grand scheme of things. But it will have a massive impact on someone's ability to exert themselves more if you haven't used it. And the body armor alone, you know, it's um, it ain't easy soldiering. And this is where it all starts. And what will be going through the young recruit's mind is just how hard it is. And they'll be thinking, wow, I haven't got any ammunition. I haven't got any bags on me. I'm not carrying any real weight here. And I'm fatigued, you know. It's conditioning the brains. Kill! 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 A bit of drill, it looks like, at the moment, then. Smart as carrots. Yeah, this is for me watching, having experienced, um, y you know, arguably one of the the hardest military trained courses on the planet. Um, this is very different. It's a very different conditioning, and I think the purpose is very different there's a lot of you guys and there's not a lot of us so we've got to do things differently but it's not really the british way to shout like that um but can i see why this works in in bulk batches of marines like this yes and history proves that it works anyway you're successful in your own right um would this work with a with a typical englishman an englishman recruit it wouldn't it wouldn't work in the British military because we have different types of people here and the output's very different. Alright, so the input has to be different. Um Yeah. It's extremely to, to me watching this, this is alien, you know, it's alien type of trait. It's like I, I I wouldn't know how I would react, if I'm honest with you. Um I think it must be mentally draining on the individual, which I think is is done on purpose to make the the uh, the young recruit think differently about situations. It uh, gives him a, an instant problem solving ability because every day he's having to problem solve the drill sergeant and the verbal communication that it's going his way. It allows him to stay calm under pressure, even though he's at boiling point. So I think he's got a few character 
um, lessons right there. I think there's a lot of pros in this if you look for it. But is it very different to what British, not even the Royal Marines, in British military training in general is extremely different. There's more shouting in the army than there is the Royal Marines. They're known to be quite shouty in comparison. Um, the parachute regiment, quite aggressive, quite shouty individuals. But their output has to be because they're, they're, they're training a slightly different beast to a Royal Marine. Royal Marines are normally classified as a thinking soldier, all right, capable of doing complex, um, complex infantry stuff. Uh, parachute regiment normally get thrown in at the deep end, jumping out of planes, um, storming mountains and stuff like that, like they did in the Falklands. Uh, it requires an awful lot of aggression to be a paratrooper, and so they're trained to be aggressive, so their training's different in, in that respect. So... Yeah, for me watching this, although there's Marine in the title, they're, they're a very different um, beast indeed. This, yeah, th th this just doesn't happen in Royal Marines training at all. I've, I've never seen this before ever, this type of... I truly don't know how I'd act. I don't know if I'd be able to take this. It, you know, this is there's different levels of arduous training that different militaries bring to the table. Now, one person's hard training might be very different in a different country. So this, we might think, well, it's only 13 weeks training, for instance. But... That 13 weeks training is very different to the 36 weeks basic training that Royal Marines go through. Um, yeah, I don't know how I'd react to this. I think I'd struggle, if I'm honest with you. This is 
absolutely mental. They're getting ripped to death. They've just been hammered. That's hard to watch. It, that's exhausting to watch. That's going to break an average person mentally, all right? They're going to start crying and things like that. Um, these young men are tough, man. They're tough. They want it. They want it. And, uh, you know, that's just that's just the process they've got to go through to, to get into greatness. And it's not, not easily earned. It's definitely hard earned, this. Much respect to anyone who's done this course, man. Yes, sir. 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 It's going to be exhausting, man. Trust me, hundred percent. Here's a question: Do you think the lack of physicality in the modern world for these young individuals will make recruit training more harder? The fact that they haven't got the physicality that our forefathers had 20, 30 years ago, um, or do they just have they just reduced the physical requirement in recruit training? I think it's the latter. Hurrah, Marine Corps, kill. Hurrah, Marine Corps, kill. Hurrah, Marine Corps, kill. Hurrah, Marine Corps, kill. <laughs> That's got to be one of the greatest phrases used in the military ever. Hurrah, Marine Corps, kill. All right, what we got? I think we're going to call it there on this one, troops. So we've seen these uh, guys finish off bayonet training, do a bit more PT, then get absolutely grilled um, off the drill sergeants. I think I'd rather do PT than get a grilling off them guys. They're badass. Yeah, I haven't experienced that, so I can't tell you honestly how I would react in that situation or how I would feel. 
Um, it's easy to just assume that uh, it's easy to go through that. They're just shouting. It's stupid. It's silly. But I think it um, would spur reaction from many a man to react in a certain way. And that's what they're trying to whittle out here. They want to see if you're the guy who's going to back chat um, a superior, if you're going to hit a superior when you push to the pressure, the pressure's on you and stuff, are you going to react in a bad way? All of these things are there to uh, see if you've got any character flaws. And I think it would be really, really good um at doing just that so yeah really really good video of this guys yeah the marine the marines the us marines are a, a different kettle of fish and uh, i've got got a lot of respect for them guys but if you like this video please smash that like button subscribe to the channel guys it really does help me out we're trying to get two hundred thousand now and yeah i'll see you in the comments troops peace